Gates. Can you believe it? I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And thank you very, very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. How in the world do these, uh, you know, smart people, well brought up, I guess, how do they get off on these insane, uh, this insane tangent? I mean, I just worry so much about our, our democracy. And I think these people just don't care. It just never occurred to me to run for public office to get famous or, you know, or to just to make money or just and then to do all. The, I don't know how they do it. Let's see what the cards tell us. It just seems insanity. So this is the Heaven and Earth Tarot by Jack Sifroth and Jamie Elford. And uh, these are Los Carabillo cards. And I gotta tell you, these are great. Um, they come in a cool box with that magnetic clip on the side, which I like. The guidebook that, they're, that comes with them is very useful. It's just a full-size book that you could uh, sit and have a cup of tea and, and read through it. The cards themselves, and it's a color book, which I appreciate. It may not look like these are in color, but this is how the cards are kind of muted with little pops of color here and there. And there's lots of nice suggestions on how you might use these cards uh, in uh, the divinations. And then the cards themselves are, are very nice. The, um, I've not put them in the box well. The little discombobulated uh, here today. Um, I want to spread them out so that you can get a look at them and see kind of what cards look like. And although they're kind of uh, and in that noir style where they're black and whitish with just some hints of a uh, of very uh, shaded uh, color here and there, um, you can see that they're gorgeous cards to use. And um, so, very nice. Uh, I do this so that uh, if you don't look at cards very often, then you can uh, have a look at almost this whole deck, you know, because you can stop the tape and really zoom in on some of this stuff if you wanted to. And uh, it's a nice way to mix the cards. If you're doing a reading for someone, you could have them uh, spread them out this way to kind of uh, get the cards mixed up. And um, that way, uh, everybody's kind of participating in the process. So that's the Heaven and Earth Tarot, some cards that I love, love, love using. Okay, so this is going to be Matt Gates, and uh, the one who asked this question is Deanna Dreger. I'm not sure how to pronounce your name, dear, but Deanna, um, you've asked, uh, I've put a couple of the questions into one. For Matt Gates, the Matt Gates saga, as you put it, did he get engaged to prevent his girlfriend co from cooperating with the investigation, and do his parents know about his exploitive behavior with young girls? So Matt Gates, did he um, get engaged, and now he's actually married, that young girl to prevent her from cooperating with what she may know and um, do his parents know about his exploitive behavior and you know I don't know we'll see what the cards say so Matt Gates did you get engaged and get married uh, to keep your girlfriend co co from cooperating because you know wife can't uh, testify can't be made to testify I believe against her husband and then um, do his parents know? You know, they eloped. They went out and secretly got married. And wouldn't you think she'd like to have a nice big a wedding? Um, she's kind of an innocent young girl whose, whose brother made it super rich. And I think she came from just a regular, solidly middle-class family. And um, and I think she's somewhat starstruck by having a congressman who is well off in his own right, uh, you know, show her that attention. And um, if you're that girl. If you're that girl who's a little bit innocent, who's kind of seen this immediate wealth and what it does to your family when your brother found it, 
and now you feel like, oh, here I am. I'm um, I'm uh, now uh, following in this very uh, fantastic um, path. So wouldn't you think that you wouldn't want to fully see the ugliness that's there? And do his parents know about his behavior with young girls? Let's sit, look at this. They don't want to work. So let's do this for the first part of that question for Deanna. Six cards on did he uh, marry his girlfriend so that she couldn't tell what she knows. And look at the cards are a mess. They're just really all askew uh, with this question. That's not very typical. So, did you marry this girl sort of as a cover? Signifier card for that is this Princess of Swords. So the princess in this deck is equal to a page of swords. You know, the page is the least um, uh, has the least strength of all the court cards, as would this princess. But she's carrying this great big sword of truth and justice rules and law. So... Princess of Swords, could this be the bride? The um, challenge to that then, ah, the nightmares. Okay, so, and this is defined as despair and cruelty, it says right here on the bottom of the card. So, um, you know, all these truths, justice, rules, and law, this woman is in bed and is just horrified by this nightmare. Okay, so this wife having this truth and justice rule and law is is in a nightmarish nightmarish situation uh the base of this reading that oh is the terror moment so the base of all this is the disaster that that cemented their marriage okay if it weren't for the disaster he wouldn't have scooped her up and eloped they would have had a, a nice leisurely let's have a big flashy wedding because they can both afford it so that's the basis of that marriage uh, the past of this reading, then, is uh, the world. Okay, so the world, this is the last card of the Major Arcana. And look, the woman is still featured in this thing. And so this means that the thing has come to an end. It's come full circle, and something else is about to begin. So this is the past. So this thing had come, I guess, full circle at that point, And that's what caused all of this to happen. It came to a very uh, definitive cycle uh, end and then a new beginning. So now they're married. She's having nightmares. It's a disaster that brought it all up. The sky of this reading, oh my goodness, is this... Um, is this the Three of Swords or the Four? No, this is the Four of Swords. So the Four of Swords is this uh, warrior, this knight usually, laying down on his sarcophagus. He's got a sword by his side. You can just barely see it here. This is called uh, Reflection and Strife. No, re Rest. Yeah, Reflection. Rest from Strife. Rest from Strife. Yeah. So this marriage was a stopping point. Don't get up too quickly because you're going to get stabbed by all this truth, justice, rules, law. And you have a sword by your side. But it's not particularly uh, obvious. That's interesting. It's Matt. And then the uh, likely outcome of the first part of this, ah, this Ace of Swords, this is truth and justice coming full force out of the clouds. So, yeah, this isn't going to help uh, this maneuver that he's made. So the last part of this about the parents, do the parents, let me, let me shuffle these up, do the parents know, do the parents know about his behavior with young women? And I'm going to tell you something. Uh, a mother never wants to admit uh, many times uh, her son's frailties. And a father sometimes is the... Um, the template for what the son is. Okay, you know the father was a politician for a long time uh, in Florida. So do the parents know about the son's exploitive behavior with young women? The self of that question is uh, the nine. Yep, yeah, they do. This is the nine of wands. Wands are uh, actions, plans, motions forward. This nine of swords is um, this has great strength, but you can see that this fella is embattled. He's beat up. He's holding on to a plan. He's got all this around him. But yeah, this fella has fought the battle and he's still willing to go another another round, okay? So if this is the parents, you know, they're pretty beat up, but this is great strength. Parents do have great strength for their children, regardless of what they put them through. The uh, environment that that's in, the parents, do they know Oh, a broken heart. Of course they do. I mean, that's self-explanatory. I don't have to say more about that. It's the environment of a broken heart. And the um, hopes and the fears for this is victory. Yeah, that's the hopes for the parents. The parents are hoping for, that this plan that they have to stand behind their son uh, brings forth a victory. Okay? That's just easy. And then the uh, likely outcome of the whole thing, then, is look at this with this nine of pentacles. 
This Nine of Pentacles, this woman is awash in wealth, in value. She's got more than she needs. She has, I always like to say, they've got this little falcon. She has the diversion of the day. You know, the most expensive, maybe you're not having a new car or an expensive house or, or something that you don't really need to have, some expensive jewelry or, or fancy dinnerware that you, know, you really don't need to have, but you've got it. Uh, and so lots, lots of that. And this is called what? This is called material gain. Material gain material gain. So this is regarding the parents. So it looks like, um, I want to say that they will be behind him, you know, with everything they've got. Ah, we got it again. Okay. The wife, the now wife, she is represented here. I'm sorry, by this princess of swords. She's holding the truth and justice, the rules of the law. And it is a nightmare now that she's come to understand what she's into. Okay. Uh, the basis of the whole thing was that huge tower moment that, that, jump-started the marriage as a matter of fact they eloped and went and got married the past of this was that cycle coming to an end with this world card okay came to an end something else has to start and in the sky of that with this four swords is look it's dangerous to get up and move so you better Matt stay down and uh, like they tell the guy in the boxing match and then the likely outcome though is truth and justice coming to the front then so that that really completes that 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 part of it about the secret that the wife knows. And then the parents, what do they know? Well, look, they're embattled. They're embattled with this nine of, of wands, great strength. They're in the environment of what? They're in an environment of this broken heart, okay, uh, and the hopes and the fears. And trust me, if that his mother knows what his father's been doing to her, and she's going to know the pattern in the sun. Um, the uh, hopes and the fears, the hopes are that they're, they're victorious. They get out of this thing, and maybe they will since this card uh, came up. And also, because of this Nine of Pentacles, this great wealth, this great value, uh, they're going to put what they have behind it, and it may be that it's enough to pull him out. But only time will tell. It's all well and good to, you know, do these card draws and see what information we can kind of glean from the collective consciousness. But I really want to see if, uh, if our government uh, brings all this to justice. Don't you? I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now.